So Alicia, let me put things into perspective. So last night's fire at this apartment complex sent one person to the hospital, but it also put a spotlight on a deeper issue. Folks living here without heat since Christmas and all the things they resorted to just to stay warm. This is ridiculous and this is stupid. This is unsafe. Residents at across the park are frustrated and trying their best to fight the bitter cold. I got an oven, I got like a little toaster oven, so I'm using that. How many other residents do you think are, are resorting to that to try to stay warm? I think everybody doing it. Everybody. And their plight only got highlighted after Monday's fire on the eighth floor. You can see the soot on my glasses. You couldn't even see you down the hallway. Harley Huntsman's 48-year-old neighbor is expected to recover after being rushed to the hospital for smoke inhalation. Attention, please. There has been a report of an emergency. The fire department says the incident was contained to just one unit. And even though the root cause is still under investigation, people are urged to exercise caution when heating homes. Well, you empathize with people because you know how it is with these temperatures and you know people are going to do anything by any means necessary to keep warm. And now for us, what are fire officials recommending people do to stay warm in situations like this? Many people are so desperate. So first thing, Alicia, Chief James Harris says that stoves and ovens are not the recommended ways to heat homes. And if you are using a space heater, then make sure it's four feet away from any window treatments or furniture. And of course, we also did reach out to the building's management so far. We haven't heard back from them uh, about the heating issue. Alicia. Yeah, trying to heat your home with your stove is very unsafe and obviously not an efficient way to do it for us. Thank you for that reminder.